In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the love and mercy of God be with you. Let us pray. Loving Jesus, you came to reconcile us with your Father. You came to redeem us from our sinfulness. You came to show us the way to the Father. Must we grant that we, your children, may learn the power of forgiveness which is a clear way of demonstrating our love towards fellow human beings who have sinned and you have consigned us with your Father. May we also learn to love sincerely from the heart, for you are love and must itself. Through you, Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 6, verses 27 to 38. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I said to you that here, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To him who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give to everyone who begs from you, and of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, and do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for His kind, the ungrateful, and the selfish. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap. For the measure you give will be the measure you get back. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear good listener, a good sound at you. From today's readings, I find the theme, Love your enemies, do good always. Worth meditating on, my dear good listener. One of the biggest challenges we have in life is to love people who hate us. To love people whom we think or whom we know are planning evil against us. Definitely, it's not easy to love such people. It's not easy to forgive someone who has hurt you. Yet, it is the way to go. If you want to belong to the kingdom of God, if you want to enter God's paradise, definitely you and I must behave the way Jesus behaved. And what do we see with Jesus? He came, as Paul tells us, to die for us when we were sinners. He never came because we are perfect. He never died for us because of our, good, of our goodness. He died for us because we were sinners. So you could ask yourself, do I also love people in the same measure? As Jesus did, do I really love people whom I know are not ready to love me in return? Do I forgive people whom I even know after forgiving them still do harm against me? But my dear good listener, from the gospel of today, we learn that that's the way to go. If you want to be called the child of God, the way to go is to love your enemies and to do good always. My dear good listener, St. John Mervianni, talking about forgiveness, says this, which I find very important and can help us. The good Lord will forgive only those who will have forgiven. This is the law. The saints have neither hatred nor hold grudges. They forgive everything, or better, they always think to deserve 
for the offenses that they have caused to the good Lord, more evil than what is good to them. Instead, the bad Christian is revengeful. When we hate our neighbor, God returns us this hatred. It is an act that rebounds on us. One day I said to a person, So you do not wish to go to paradise since you do not want to see that man? Oh yes, I do. But we we'll try to stand away from each other so that we do not meet. They should not be concerned since the door of paradise is closed to hatred. In a paradise, there is no grudge. For this reason, the good and the humble hearts that bear insults and slanders with joy or indifference begin to enjoy their paradise in this world. Instead, those who keep their grudge are unhappy, are always worried, and have eyes that seem to devour everything around them. There are persons seemingly devoted that take offense at the smallest insult, at the smallest slander. You can be so saintly as to perform miracles, but if you do not have love, you will not go to paradise. The only way to defeat the devil when he arouses in us sentiments of hatred towards those who harm us is to immediately pray for them. Here is how we can win over evil with good. And here is what it means to be a saint. So from St. John Mary Vianney, the way to overcome evil is to do good. And even Paul says it in Romans chapter 12 verses 20, 21. Rather, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, you will heap burning coals upon his head. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good. Therefore, it is an invitation to you and me to always do good and to love our neighbors. For loving such neighbors who do not love you is becoming a good example to them. But if they do bad to you and you repay them bad, you and them are the same. For Jesus tells us in Matthew chapter 15 about those blind people who lead other blind people. All of them are bound to fall in a pit. So my dear good listener, if you want your neighbor who is doing bad to you to change, the way to go is what St. Paul has told us and St. John Mary Vianney. To win evil with good, to do good always, never to pay bad with bad. And there is what it means to be a saint. Being a saint means never keeping a grudge. That's why Jesus tells St. Faustina in her diary number 1288, My daughter write that pains me very much when religious souls receive the sacrament of love merely out of habit, as if they did not distinguish this food. I find neither faith nor love in their hearts. I got such souls with great reluctance. It would be better if they did not receive me. So my dear good listener, if you are a Catholic and usually go to receive Holy Communion, remember that is a sacrament of love. Jesus is love and he is love because he loves all, bad and good. Jesus is merciful. He was and is merciful towards all. I remember reading the death of St. Faustina when St. Faustina at one time asked Jesus why he used to do good to all the bad people. Jesus said that it was out of his patience that he converts the sinners. You and I need that patience. Today's first reading, which comes from 1 Samuel chapter 26, we find the same. David, who forgave Saul. Saul, a king, had been trying all means possible to kill him. But one day, God made Saul and his soldiers fall into a deep sleep. But David, who came and found them asleep and had all the opportunities possible to kill Saul, he decided to spare his life, saying to Abishai, who wanted to kill Saul, do not destroy him, 
For who can put forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? And David himself told Saul who wanted to kill him. The Lord rewards every man for his righteousness and his faithfulness. For the Lord gave you into my hand today, and I would not put forth my hand against the Lord's anointed. That is David, who spared Saul's life, even though Saul was plotting to kill him. Can you do the same to your enemies? The Lord be with you. And may the God of love and mercy bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear good sinner, can you share this good news with your fellow friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can always receive these daily reflections. I wish you a blessed Sunday. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sin.